okay so we are going to discuss the this problem permutations okay so we would be given a string s containing lowercase alphabet characters and also we are giving q queries and in each query we would be asking like we will be dealing with a substring ranging from l to r both inclusive and we are required to print the number of permutations of the substring that is given in this particular query that are lexicographically smallest among all the permutations of the given substring okay and the answer can be very large also so we need to print it uh, remainder with this prime number okay so like uh, let me repeat out the question once again like we need to print the number of permutations of the given substring in this given query that are lexicographically smallest among all the permutations of the given substring okay like we need to output for every query okay so like uh, okay so like we will be given a string like this is original string let's say okay and for every query we would be given a uh, some substring let's say this is the substring and you need to find it out that what are the number of permutations now this is the important term i i hope you guys are aware about the permutation type of thing like number of permutations of this substring which are also the lexicographically smallest okay and all like the lexicographically smallest is like suppose you uh, you would be having a b b and c c c so this is the lexicographically smallest you cannot place the c first and b then okay so this is not the lexicographically smallest string because you need to place first the lower ascii values then the next one then the next one like triple a then it should be followed by all those b if present and then it should be followed by c and then it should be followed by d okay so like uh, for every query we would be given this substring ranging from l to r and you need to find out the number of permutations of this string which is also the lexicographically smallest okay like uh, okay so suppose uh, the substring ranging from h2 to s5 is this one like b b a a d d okay uh, i think i have taken the extra like what is the number of characters so let me just extend this one s7 and s8 because this is my example so i can do anything 4 5 and 6 so i am talking about h2 to s7 okay so uh, like uh, what is the total number of permutations from h2 to s7 note that i am talking about the permutation okay so permutation is like uh, you can arrange it in any of the ways so what is the length of this string length of this string is 6 so total number of permutation is 6 factorial okay note that i am talking about the permutation i am not caring about the strings that are going to be repeated okay so suppose these are numbered for the positions like 1 2 3 4 5 6 so what is the number of ways to arrange these six numbers here so it is 6 factorial okay so it doesn't matter like we would be having b b a d d and the positions are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and again we would be having the positions as 2 1 3 4 5 6 so this is also the permutation of this a1 and uh, above string and the string corresponding to this one is again b b a like double b double a and double d note that these two strings are same but it doesn't matter we need to talk about the permutation type of thing not the same sequence of strings okay so these two strings should be counted that's why i have written over here 6 factorial okay but i am not interested in this one because this is not the lexicographically smallest one so what is the lexicographically smallest one let us try to focus over there okay so like uh, the lexicographically smallest one for this one is like a a b b and followed by d d okay and let's say we have some more characters for now let's say e e and f f now we need to find out the total number of permutation following this criteria that this should remain lexicographically smallest so it means that for this a let's say the count is 2 and for this b the count is 2 for this d the count is 2 and for this e the count is 3 and for this f the count is 3 okay so if we try to switch the a over all only these two positions 
the lexicographically smallest condition is not going to be violated okay so let me write number this one as one two three four for now okay like for the first day it is numbered as one and the for the second day it is numbered as two okay so if i will write down my string as one two or two one you can see that the characters at these positions are still a okay it means that the lexicographically condition is not going to be violated okay so this gives us the idea that we would be working upon the consecutive set of characters that are same okay so it means that the here we will have two amount of a's so we can arrange these two amount of a's among themselves in what two factorial ways okay similarly we have also the the operations of uh, b1 uh, like two b's okay so wait a minute i think there is a call for me okay yeah i've rejected okay so and similarly there are two amount of b's over here so i will write down as two factorial similarly there are two amount of d's i will write down two factorials and here you can see i have three amount of these i can arrange all these three is among themselves okay so i will write down a factorial thing so you can understand this one as one two three and number of ways to arrange this one is like three factorial okay and uh, let's say you have the same consecutive characters x amount of consecutive characters you will write down x factorial okay so uh, what is your answer for this substring okay so you will be having x amount of same characters y amount of same characters z amount of same characters w amount of same characters so your answer would be like x factorial multiplied by y factorial multiplied by z factorial multiplied by w factorial okay so your answer for this particular substring is this one okay and what uh, like how you are going to find out these uh, values x y z w so you are going to find out these values with the help of uh, prefix sums technique that is for every character you are going to store their occurrences over all these uh, positions of this string and if you have been given the range from l to r then you are going to subtract the frequency let's say you are working upon the character a then you will subtract the frequency of a from s0 to like uh, okay so let me just repeat down once again then you will subtract the frequency of s0 to s1 from s0 to s5 if you are able to do that then you would be having the frequency of the character a from s2 to s5 right so this is your frequency of character a and let's call it as x your then your answer is going to be multiplied by x factorial similarly for the character b y factorial like you need to count down the frequency okay so let's head over to the code to understand this problem in detail okay i've already opened that tab you can see the problem name is permutations and all the test cases has been passed okay so what i have done is like uh, let me just zoom it out oh uh, okay yeah so i have first find out the factorial like all the factorial values i think i am going to need that okay so you can see this is finding out the factorial with the modulus thing also okay and also for every characters there are 26 characters lower case characters and i'm going to uh, keep out the prefix sum for all these characters you can see in the dp and like for the frequency of a i'm going to increment it over here okay and after doing that i'm going to find out the prefix sum because this will be helping us to find out the frequency of a particular character in a particular range okay and uh, like here we will be having this uh, queries and for every query we will be having l and r and for a particular range from l to r we need to find out the total number of permutations yes total number of permutations from l to r and that are lexicographically smallest right so we need to count down the frequencies also like first a will come then b will come then c will come then d will come and so on and we can arrange a's like all the a's among themselves all the b's among themselves all the c's among themselves and so on okay so our answer should be multiplied by x factorial y factorial z factorial w factorial and so on okay this is what i'm going to do over here and finally print the answer for the current test case like for the current query okay so this will give you all test cases fast 
so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video